Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how I reduced my costs by 90% in this video. I'm going to show you evidence of that. And I'm going to show you that you can actually increase the intelligence of the AI applications you're building while also not using Claude API and instead using either the responses API or even better, the open AI agent SDK with a cheap model like GPT-5 Nano to have better intelligence with a 90% drop in price. Let's jump into it. So the first thing to show you guys is obviously the cost of our usage of Anthropic. This is currently what powers SEO Grove. If you don't know, SEO Grove is a project that I've been working on for about five, six months now, and it's really draining a lot of money. There's nothing else that this can be. If I actually just go on API keys and sort by cost, you'll see that it's called Why Not Work Grove. That's pretty standard by me. Uh, basically, that was me calling it Why You Not Work and Grove. And that's kind of as much evidence as I need that this is actually what's powering Grove. Before continuing with the video, just a quick word from our sponsor today, me. In the video description and in the pinned comment, there is a link to the school community. If you want to learn a little bit more about what we're talking about, from the absolute basics of coding all the way to being an absolute master in these things, launching production ready apps, SaaS applications, and I've launched hundreds of websites as well. I've been there, I've done that, I have three SaaSs currently. If you want to learn how I'm doing that, I've put everything that I've ever learned about Claude Code, Stacks, Next.js, all of that good stuff into the school community. Thanks for your attention. Let's get back to the main content. Now, just to be clear, this is still not that expensive, to be honest with you. I know it looks like a lot, but this is powering 85 um, stores at the same time. So obviously you would expect the costs to be fairly high. Now you can see these are all Claude Sonnet 4.5 pretty much, which is actually what Grove uses as well. And now I'm going to show you a few comparisons. So the first thing is convex. And we can actually see, for example, um, yeah, we had huge usage on December the 18th. What actually happened was I basically left it running all night long, right? Um, and I didn't even have it set up properly. So it was doing 100 stores over and over. Now, this should have been an absolutely massive cost to us, right? I'm going to let you guys guess how much this actually cost. This was using OpenAI and GPT-5 Nano, right? So a, not, a normal day at this kind of usage level would be, and I, I know this sounds ridiculous, but about 589 USD for us. Um, now, this is 85 stores, like I said, so this is still profitable, right, for us. But... Yeah, uh, first of all, the way that Grove works is, um, so yeah, if you're currently a Grove subscriber who has unsubscribed, be ready because in one or two days time, you're gonna lose access. Right now, anyone that's ever been a subscriber just has access because I didn't actually code it properly. When I release the new system in two, three days, we'll only have, I think it's about 20 stores that are actually signed up and paying and we'll see what the costs are then. But let's take this eight, number 85 because the day that I actually tested GPT-5 Nano to see its costs, I was running 85 stores and I think I did it all night. I think there were actually over 100 stores because I also had about 20 test stores. So pause the video. Let me know how much you think that actually costs. Okay, so this is the OpenAI platform. We can go to settings up here and then we'll go to usage. Now, this is actually stupid right this is that day that i was just talking about december the 18th you can see it's in line with this day here this was when i accidentally just let it let it rip basically it was just going absolutely crazy and doing so much stuff right we haven't even spent a hundred dollars in december that's a joke <laughs> that's an actual joke look at this december the 18th cost us 45 dollars and if you think about it, this is directly comparable to this number here, which was $90, right? Actually, no, not even. It's more comparable to like this number, for example. So effectively, 
let's say I reckon it costs us about $200 a day on a normal day, right? On a normal day now for us, it's more like $20, right? So it's, it's, it's a huge, huge saving. And you might think, yeah, but you're using a worse model. So, you know, you're using GPT-5 Nano. If you don't know, GPT-5 Nano is pretty bad. Uh, it's nothing compared to Summit 4.5, right? But because I'm using the Agent SDK, right? This, this here, right? I'm using the TypeScript Agent SDK. I've actually increased the level of intelligence while decreasing the cost by I think 90 to 95%, which is absolutely absurd. And it's extremely exciting. When I logged in yesterday, like I was expecting this number on December the 18th, I was expecting $200, $300 minimum. The craziest part about this is most of the cost is actually here in web searches. If you don't know, 1000 web searches is $25, I think, or it might be, it's hard to say. I don't know if it's $10 or $25. I'm not actually sure how it works because it's a uh, web search preview or it's not web search preview. It's kind of hard to give you an exact answer on how much it costs. But the majority of the cost here actually comes from web searches. Obviously, a lot of it also comes from, oh, it looks like it's only $10. Okay, nice. So yeah, not the majority, but a lot of this comes from web searches, right? So if we weren't even using web searches, which I, I will say web searches are obviously very, very useful, would be spending even less. So our bill will go from, you know, this is what December so far is fucking almost four grand, which is absolutely mental. I used to think this was Claude Code, but it's actually not. If I go on Claude Code, you can see that, that it's not actually, some of it might be, some of it will be from uh, Claude Summit 4.5, 1 million output tokens, which I was using for a little while. Yeah, 600 bucks. So only 600 bucks of that is Claude Code. The other 3,000 is Grove, right? Grove costs. This is going to go down from about 3,000 to probably somewhere closer to 600, right? Which is a five times decrease in price while I've also increased the intelligence of the entire application rebuilt it from scratch convex as well like i was worried about these usages that you can see like i've, I've used a lot of um certain parts of my convex usage so i've used um 117 gigabyte hours of um what's known as um action compute so i've used 148 hours and 50 gigabytes um plus 3.8 but this is extremely cheap to run over right like even if i spent a thousand gigabytes hours it would only be 220 euros so this whole setup is extremely extremely cost effective i would be surprised right now our costs are probably about i would say six thousand a month for grove i would say i would be surprised if they were going to be a thousand a month um when i make the change over to the new system in a couple of days time when I've finished absolutely everything. And then on top of that, because I just rebuilt the entire system from scratch and I know every single little piece in there, I can add something like a social media calendar in seconds. This I literally prompted this, went to bed, woke up and it was done, right? So now that it even has a fucking social media calendar in it, because I took the time to rebuild every single part of this system from scratch using a cheaper system. So this still uses OpenAI Agent SDK to do certain things. And then it uses Nano Banana to generate the images. Obviously, that's why would you use anything except Nano Banana for generating images? And yeah, this is the final result. So now it even does social media for people. So yeah, I just want to talk about this quickly, guys. Don't just use Claude because it's intelligent. Use something like an agent SDK. It doesn't have to be OpenAI's. The good thing about OpenAI is that it can run serverless and um, OpenAI actually has really good cheap models. To be honest with you, Haiku 4.5 is okay and I'm sure Gemini 3 Flash is good too. But something like GPT-5 Nano which slots straight into the agent's SDK 
you're going to struggle to beat it basically one more thing to mention guys is you can actually use you we have like specialized um not sp we have like boiler plates here there's a voice where is it so yeah we have the agent builder first of all which you can use drag and drop to make any agent and then if you go on the typescript um api for example on the side here we have i think these two here are actual examples right that you could copy so you can grab these copy them in give this example to claude code in order to make what you want to make it also says use any model with the sdk so it looks like you might just be able to use any model yeah it looks like you can use anthropic so that's very very i didn't even know that so that's extremely interesting connect real-time agents to twilio there's all of this amazing stuff that you can do Guys, I'm going to leave the video there. I just wanted to make this video quickly because when I first started building kind of my agentic systems or my kind of, you know, workflow systems, I always used Claude, but I just realized like I'm, I'm bleeding money here. So why not just try something else? And yeah, the, the proof is in the pudding, as we say. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very soon with some more content. Peace out.